All right, here's another series that you guys kind of voted for. It didn't perform as well, but I think there's enough interest to justify doing a reaction on this series. Handyman Saito in another world. No clue what's going on. I'm going to assume it's Isekai. Hopefully it's interesting. Let's begin the reaction. Saito is a handyman from modern day Japan, I would, I would assume. And he has craftsman skills, like picking locks that can help him get through. Yeah? Lock picking isn't common back in this era. Even though in games like, for example, Skyrim, it's not the exact same kind of setting. I would imagine it still kind of exists to a degree, but I'm sure Saito's got better tools. Saito looks very, very common. Not what you would think a, a main character would look like. There's a girl behind the armor. I think she's like, what? That lock picking skills. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Bruh. It's just doors on doors like, okay. And another one. And another one. So this is his handyman work back in Japan before he got isekai. Okay. <laughs> 7,000? The fuck you talking about? Man, we should have just, uh... I bet he's trying to help her out, dude. I bet he's not trying to scam her. We should have taken like an hour to do this work if she's going to be like this, man. Oh my god. They actually appreciate his, his uh, lock picking work. Hey, this is like a. Uh, yeah, like uh, in games, like when you open a chest, it's actually a fake chest. It starts trying to eat you. And the night girl. And that means there was no chest, right? Like no loot. Fuck, that was a waste of time. You can tighten helmets too. Okay. But then she's gonna be like, oh, you don't need to. It's a little embarrassing. Very self conscious about the helmet. It's hiding her face. She won't even turn around, probably. No, she does. That's not the face you would expect from, like, uh, someone in that kind of armor, right? Thank you. <laughs> this is so. I guess this is quite unique. In the sense that, you know, you see guy characters, they're reborn and they got some OP powers and they go into all kinds of crazy shit. This dude's a handyman. This dude, he's lockpicking. He's fixing helmets. <laughs> like, he looked for lost dogs as well. So, how is this going to progress? Like, how is this going to be like an OP skill? We, we got to figure that out. Because in series, for example, of, uh, for example, what we're watching right now, cooking in uh, campfire cooking, right? Is that a cut from a dog? I don't know. But campfire cooking, like, he's able to cook. It's a ridiculous power online grocery, but he can cook and offer buffs and merchant and money. What can Saito do? A great wizard. Or is he just senile? Over level 80. Hmm. 83, that's huge. He can't remember his incantations? He's really senile. This dude has dementia and he might just forget everything. He might even forget that we're his teammates. What happened? Did he pour himself into... Into a wall? <laughs> into a monster. Okay, okay. I forgot my incantations have been kicked out of my party, but I bet he's talking to us, his party. This dude literally forgot he's in their party. This is kind of dangerous, dude. I get it's just a comedic act, but what if he's like, Are you my enemies? And starts attacking us. He's supposed to be really strong, right? So his entire thing is super OP wizard. Very forgetful. Party was wiped out. Died. You can just die in this show? Like... What do you mean? Can you resurrect somehow? Whoa, who is this? Ho oh, ho, wait, wait, wait. Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? I got baited. <laughs> Bro. Oh, I saw with the legs and the abs. And then the beard showed up. Oh. What is this fairy? Is an actual this fairy? Lafanpan. Lafanpan can heal backs. So La Fan Pan is like our healer support. She expects to get paid. Money. That's her coin bag? She's so tiny. Really? What if I just take that coin bag from her? I'm sure she's strong enough to hold herself accountable. Oh, we're gonna charm the fairy too. The handyman is so useful. You can just make all different types of utility gear. 
So maybe this is gonna be more of like a slice of life episodic kind of isekai where it's not like oh I've been reborn into another world and I'm gonna defeat the demon lord or those kind of generic plots but rather he's just chilling with the party and he's got unique skills and it's gonna help them out like make a wallet like that ankle is kind of ayo hey stop it bro enough with the old man fan service yeah a king with a very long weenie and it was 30 centimeters in length therefore this entire world scale of measurement is based on his dick <laughs> that's actually 300 bro I, honestly that's pretty giga it's just ridiculous this is ridiculous but they based an entire unit of measurement off the king's dick that is that's the most giga chat thing i've heard <laughs> To the dick! He's one dick-sized elf! I mean, sorry, fairy! Dwarf magician? Dwarves are usually not magicians, huh? Dwarves are usually just like melee attacking with axes and swords. Okay, he's got shields, though. What kind of magic do you have? He endures, endures, and then releases the pain back onto them, I guess. Something like that? Pretty cool. Pretty. It's uh. <laughs> this guy's so edgy. The heavy magic tank. That's crazy. A magician that's a tank. What's wrong with that helmet, dude? What's in that helmet? Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, he's a softie. Even though he just said, no one cares for me. <laughs> and I care for no one. But he has a little. Pet. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Okay, that was just a random skit of the dwarf magician, and that's it? Like, we're not gonna see him again? What the fuck? Who are these people? I'm sure these are all the characters in this show, right? Well, obviously, they're the characters in this show, but I mean, like, important characters that'll be reoccurring. Hmm. Wow. Fancy axle. That was super fancy. What, that's it? Okay. Um, do we know you? It's an intimidating looking armor. Um, hello? Can we help you? Saito, maybe? Say something, dude. Hmm. Oh, it's a girl in there. Is it the same girl that we know? What's going on? Okay, it is her. It is her. So she's got different armor sets. I think she's really into Saito, obviously. You saw how she reacted before. What do you mean? How would you know that he's Saito? So, kind of cute. Very cute. You wouldn't expect, again, a girl to be in this kind of armor, but it's very cute. Oh. What broke it? A magic sword. Oh, the art of the deal. We're negotiating. All right. But it was a scam, maybe? Maybe it was a scam. Maybe it's not a magic sword. Oh, she did scam us. Bro! Huh. The blade comes off. Wait, 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 what? Never mind, he scammed himself. Never mind. What an idiot. What a deal, dude. Is he listening? Ah, no, the armored girl's listening, but I hope the other guy was listening. Morlock, are you gonna even remember your incantations? You're gonna forget your incantation! Bro! So unreli unreliable. But, like, if he could do it all the time, it'd be too OP, right? So he's, like, there as a wild card. I get what they're trying to do with Morlock. Oh. Oh, she took her helmet off and said, Are you okay? Morlock, use your AoE fire attack. Surely you have one. We're relying on Riles at too much. But damn, she looks cool. There's too many. There's too many! Someone bail us out! Morlock, finally. 
Here we go. Maybe an AoE fire attack, but this is actually going to come out. Buddy. Okay. Okay. It's going okay so far. But I feel like he's going to forget. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. Uh, don't say, um. Don't say, um. Bro. Bro. I, uh... It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh. Saito knows. Because he taught... Maybe he's been getting taught by Morlock. Anytime Morlock for forgets, <laughs> Saito can just like... Make him remember the rest. See? He is ridiculously strong. It's just that we can't spam this, right? That's why... He's seen out. That's why he sometimes forgets shit. Not sometimes, always. Good job. Wow, it's amazing when you can actually remember your spells, dude. Huh? What happened? Why is he alone? Huh? Actual threat? Actual danger? What happened? Oh, so he probably got teleported by opening this chest. Yo, just don't open the chests. Pretty much, like these chests are all bait. What's that noise? Eh, oh, it's another trap. I thought it was like teleporting, but an actual trap. In That's ridiculous. And bam, busted his leg. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh that's. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. Is this the part where he's like, does some shonen shit? It's like, I desire power. If only I had power. It probably wouldn't go that route. Damn, his boss sucks. No one, like, recognizes his work back home, huh? But there's finally people that appreciate your work. Don't give up, Saito. Oh? How'd they find us? Another path, I guess. Hey, that was nice. Okay, I didn't realize you could just do that. Oh, Ralph is gonna carry you now. <laughs> the old keys are as useless as ever, but thank you for showing up. The shining tube, the light, the flashlight. <laughs> oh, give us a piggyback. Come on. Oh, that leg. Please give him a piggyback or something so that it's a little bit romantic and we have an excuse to have a piggyback, right? See the contrast between how much they appreciate him versus like his life back on Earth? This is so nice. No piggyback though, huh? Well, that was actually very interesting and unique in the sense that I didn't expect like a... Not a four coma, but it's like very rapid skits. It's very episodic in a sense. And it's kind of slice of life. I hope there's an actual big plot behind this, but I'm down to just chill and see what happens if you guys enjoy this reaction too. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this, please subscribe and check out the other videos and plus to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.